There you go. So today is it. So we're finding the old diskette of Matt Bowen's mix. We're going to recall the board. So we're going to use some of the settings here to simulate them or replicate them on the SSL waves, which may or may not work, but we're just going to do it because, you know, we live in a country where we can do what the hell we want to do, and we're going to do that. And we're just going to see what happens. Um, so we're going to, yeah, we're going to strap some SSL buses. So basically what we're doing is we're doing a... Uh, we're doing a hybrid mix in. We're going to be pulling. This is going to be unbelievable. We're going to pull the patch bay completely for the first time um, since I moved here three and a half years ago. And we're going to redo the the converters, flip them so that it becomes 16 by 16. And we are going to insert the you know a good fair amount of the the main. We're going to insert all the main hardware. Um, you know. H3000, the vocal chain, Pultec, parallel bus barrel compression, master bus channel, and um, kick and snare and bass, and we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see how we can do this, man. We're gonna see how good this is. We got heat, Avid heat. We've also got Slate VCC. We've also got Crane Song. Whatever the heck, Phoenix. We've got decapitator we've also got the fab filter stuff so you ready Nelson yeah I'm ready you ready Rob absolutely all right so today today is preparation we're preparing the mix which is gonna take us you know it's gonna be some time but we're gonna prepare the mix and then Friday we are going to mix there you go so Nelson's recalling and Woody is labeling, labeling all the patch cables that we're gonna pull apart here. Row R number 25. Yeah. yeah, man. You know, I gotta tell you, I think we're gonna get some great sounds. Um, and again, I don't, I don't really care. I'm not looking to try to sound like the board. I'm trying to get I'm just trying to get a cool thing that's gonna happen. So, and I think too, you know, when we were really having when we got this board, we were running Pro Tools 7 with that old G5 and and uh, the, the Apogee 16Xs. And now, you know, it's a total, it seems like a totally different thing, man, with Pro Tools 11. And, and you know, now we're using the Symphonies and the Burl um, with, the, you know, the new computer and everything. It just seems, you know, 64-bit or whatever. It just seems better. So I think that some of the issues that I was having... Um, with mid-range and width we'll be able to kind of um, deal with better now um, plus I mean obviously I've gotten better with me Woody have gotten better as mixers why is that oh you're going straight to the to the to the to the speaker that's why you're doing that but um, yeah I mean, we've come a long ways mixing mixers so should should be good man Look at Nelson, man. It just took him like 20 minutes to recall the first channel. <laughs> no, I'm on camera, too. <laughs> That's what he said. You just finished the first channel. Hey, man, I'll work with a mouse. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you, know, yeah. <laughs> you know, my dad would say, yeah, poor craftsman always blames his tools. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm man. That's funny. This is the first in years. Woody is just tearing the joint up. Look at that. All right, so this is 17. Oh, it's been about six hours now, and Nelson's, uh, he's, uh, he's down, he's, he's recalling the guitars now. We told him the client's driving in from Newark. You got to hurry up. <laughs> you, know, I'm just, you told me to take every knob off and, and, and wet it and clean it, right? <laughs> so here it is. Wow, look at that. You know what we should do is get a little of the gun and go shh, do the whole thing. But look at that, man. Naked. And afraid. It's naked. All right, so it is all patched in. Just making sure our calibration is good. That'll be our, uh, our mix. That'll be our reference, and they are identical. And we've recalled the board to the song. We've also labeled all the tracks where they all went. So we can kind of use it as a little bit of a, I don't know, just, I wouldn't say a cheat, just to see how 
God. Yeah, I don't even know. We may not use it, but we did it anyway. It only took Nelson like six hours. <laughs> it's unbelievable. There you go. Yeah, so seriously, I have never, I haven't done this forever. <laughs> I'm just kind of doing a little level just to get started. And now we're going to, uh, I will lower one more headroom, but I don't really know yet, so. But, um, yeah, like we got to, we got to redo our triggers because our trigger and everything. All right. So let's move the monitor, Woody. What do you think of that? Yeah. We're going to move the monitor here and we're going to mix what we can actually hear in both ears. What a novel concept. Whoa. So this is what it's like to look at a Pro Tools screen and, and hear music in your right ear. In both ears. All right. So we've kind of rigged it up. Got a couple of our catalogs and our magazines. Crazy, huh? So let's check this out. Let's just check something out real quick. Just for fun. So if I come here, there's heat. And if I come here, heat. And then I come up here, uh, you probably gotta stop to activate heat. Activate heat. Fit it hot. So let's bypass it. Also, once the channels are actually mixed and have compression, you can see it lighting up. You see how light it is? Because the signals, it's not mixed, so there's no, it's not slamming yet. Yeah, so it's without it. With it. Weird, it pulls out all the mid range. You hear that? And the lower harmonic, but. Weird. It's cool though. I tell you, it gives those guitars more character. Mm -hmm. You know, all that mid range, you can kind of hear it. Whenever you say pulls out, I feel like you're reading tips. No, it pulls out like louder. Pulls it, yeah. All right, so what do we got going on? Woody's getting everything. I'm kind of simulating our mix template that we do outside of the box here. So I've got all our kicks going to kick one and kick two. And in kick one and kick two, we have an SSL channel plug in on each of them. Right. And, and, and then what, what's, what's, I see an A3. Is that an insert? That is an insert. To a here. boiler? It is. It's to our boiler. So let's, let me, let's, uh, let's see. It's sold in that thing. Sold just our kick here. Is that all bleed? Okay. That's yeah, there you go. And we're all good with our delay compensation and. Ah, there it is. But yeah, I haven't heard any delay issues. I did have an issue with auto align on the staircase mic, so I just bypassed it. Yeah, that, that's too far. You don't want to even try that. So anyway, here's our kick drum with the insert, and then let's take the boiler out. No boiler. Oh, let me mute this guy too, so we just hear kick one. So that's no boiler? No boiler. Boiling. It's boiling. Let's see, it'll be interesting to see if, like, once we get the mix happening, let's swap out some of the hardware for software and see if, like, hey, can I get the boiler thing happening with uh, this or that? And on the uh, kick two, since we're not able to patch in the Furman because we don't have enough inputs yet, uh, put a little sub on there. I put, I just did our base and uh, mm. loaded up. Booty? A, uh, yeah, because you could put a, you could put a little preset. bit of a little bit of the uh, max base. 
Yeah, the Max Face is, what, can be used too. Right, it's, it's, it's the Punch 10, or what, what is it? Is punch 10, Punch 10, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's real quick moving. Oh yeah, we've got our SSL channels up. God, it really sounds good. So, and then like on here is our Tom Aux. We call it Tom Aux or Tom Bus. I guess Whatever one. you want. Okay. And then we've got inserted five and six, which is our big bottom world exciter, just like we uh, just like we had before. Is this bypassing it? Oh yeah. Oh, so let's 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 hear the toms with and without. So here's toms with without the Apex. Put it in. Yeah. It adds that nice like meanness. Thanks, Joe Barisi. Yeah. Out. Okay, out. One more out. Yeah. So we're setting up all of our aux or our VCAs, just like on the console. Drums, percussion, bass, acoustic guitar, then we'll have guitar one, two, and three. Those are keyboards. Um, solo keyboards vocals, harmonies, and then this will be kind of where we end off at. And it's coming together. It sounds good, man. All the auxes are, are red. So we're getting like a color scheme. There's the original mix. Wow really sounds good already and we haven't even started you know that it sounds good already doesn't it yeah we haven't even really started I mean we're not mixing yet we're just literally kind of assembling you're doing a good job Woody yeah we're getting jiggy now and we're trying to figure out how to so we've set up all of our VCAs to be still so you know how to work let it there grow, go. let it grow, let it grow. Protect still the fire. You. Let me. Sh Here it is. This is our big day. What is this? It's it's May first, two thousand fifteen, and we're trying our first hybrid mix. So this is a song that we mixed a few years back. Um, actually, it was the the Brower mix. We were mixing, doing the whole multi-bus thing um, yeah here's the uh, here's the original SSL mix old man's birds pride when we have enough oxygen dancing so we're gonna chase that a little bit kinda see what we, hey we got Nelson here, everybody say hey to Nelson we got Woody here as always Woody never leaves that's why he can't get a haircut <laughs> and Rob. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You got morning breath or morning voice. <laughs> anyway, there you go, man. So Johnny's done a cool like cool thing here, which is we've got the our basic um some basic effects on every channel on the console. Um and he replicated it up here. Exactly, right? Doubler. So then you go to this first I'm just gonna bear with me. I'm not used to <laughs> trying to film a. Uh, my filming skills aren't that good anyway. Yeah. So so there's that first run. So it's a doubler. Yeah, I'll move this over here so we can see it. It's like in doubly. There's doubler. Um. A plate reverb. A room reverb. Oh, did you do X delay? Yeah, because we don't have the PCM42 hooked up. Yeah, we're gonna we are we're gonna definitely wanna put a quarter here. That is cool. Oh, actually set up as a quarter? Yes. Oh okay, right on. And then um space, which is our little thing that Mr. our buddy Ryan Williams gave us a little combination of plugins that sound really cool. It kinda creates like a space, I guess. A little kind of slap thing. So that'll be set on every channel. And then what we did was um 
we put on heat, which I don't see. Is it not activated? Oh, it didn't automatically stay in the session. I don't know. Huh. Interesting. Um, let's see. No, it says activated, but I don't see it. That's odd. Oh, there it is. All right. There's nobody in there now. There's somebody in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's on. All right, so we're uh, moving Mr. Baby Huey right here. Do we need more snips? Seems like you can't um, group VCAs. Maybe. So that'll be a that'll be a thing that I'd like to do, just kind of like I do on the board, which is. When I feel like the whole mix is starting to get a little too loud, I just grab all the VCAs and kind of move them, keeping the blend. I can do the same thing here with, uh, with this cab. All right, so we are we're figuring out some stuff here. We're getting this thing happening. We're figuring out how to solo the VCAs, which is kind of the opposite. Yeah, there you go. So you have to solo safe all the instruments themselves and then unsolo safe all the auxes because the auxes are what's grouped to the VCA right now now, now mute it now solo the bass yeah So we ended up trying to get that vocal to sound like the original, the saturation and just the vibe. We ended up putting the slate tape on the tracks and then we put Decapitator and we kind of liked them together, but then we ended up pulling Decapitator and making it a, uh, so we can apparently get like an effect send, so we'll have this basic Decapitator distortion setting or distortion effect that we put on everything. Want to save some room and move this to here? Yeah, do that, do that. Yeah, let's move that over. Down, I'll put this. There you go. We're getting there. Woody's setting me up a, a global subharmonic generator, and what was the other thing we wanted? Oh, you got to rename X delay to quarter. We're, yeah, we're setting this you, thing up. I'm giving you a two and a eight as well. All right. Kind of. As we're starting to mix now, we're realizing, oh, put this, put this here, and name this that, and we're getting there, though. It sounds good, man. It's really punching in your face. In your face. Did, what did we, did we use fit? Because it takes one to know one that will still find. That's amazing. We did it. We did it. So this is uh, our current hybrid mix and keep in mind it's uh, literally put a probably less than an hour of mixing it's just really been setting it up and routing, routing and plugging stuff up and getting you know everything fundamentals about an hour of mixing and SSL mix in the box mix. You know what's crazy about the mix, and this is something that Brower always talks about. You know what's funny about the in the box mix? It sounds faster. Mm -hmm. The song sounds slower. The uh, the old the old mix sounds slower. And I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the more saturation or if it's it's the way I mixed it with delays and now I've just there's kind of less on the, the in the box mix. It's kind of a simpler setup. This is a hybrid. And then 
Test us out. Still no fire. Let me show you. Cause it takes more than no one there will be in the box. Still no fire. Let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. Still no fire. Let me show you. Cause it takes more than no one there will be. Still fire, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Still fire, let me show you, cause it takes one to know one that will be. Still fire, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Still fire. Show you, cause it takes one to know one that will still fire. Let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Still fire. Let me show you, cause it takes one to know one that will still fire. Let it grow. Cool, man. All right, so let's let's go through this so everybody can kind of see the layout, Woody. Hold on. 